Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is continue to take a look at creating parts using 1CNC geometry. Now, this part's a little bit more complicated than our last one, but it's still going to be very easy to create within 1CNC. Now, the same tips apply. Look at your part and see if you have fillets and chamfers. If you have fillets and chamfers, save those for later on. It's always best to create the main shapes first and then put your fillets and chamfers on later. Now if we look at this main shape, you can see that it's comprised of more than just lines. We have lines, circles, there's some trimming that's going to need to be uh, performed. We also have some fillets to create, as well as a circle in the upper right hand corner. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to left click on the little eye down here in the layers box to turn the print layer off. Let's head over to the main toolbar. I'm going to grab the line uh, suite of tools. Let's take the default line command here. Now you can easily grid snap the line locations for this part, but let's use coordinate input for practice. We're going to start at X0, Y0, Z0, so we'll click OK. That looks good, so let's now type in X6.5. That looks good, so we'll click OK. We're going to come down to Y minus 3 and click OK. We want to go to X0, so I'm going to type in 0 for X, then click OK. We want to go back up to Y0, so I'll type in 0 for Y and click OK. When we're finished, we can right hand mouse click or we simply can select any option. Alright, now let's turn our blueprint layer on and you can see there's four circles we need to create. Now these two circles have a radius of 1.25 and these two outside circles have a radius of 1 inch. So why don't we build those? I'm going to turn our print layer off, head back over to the main toolbar and let's grab Arc. Now the diameter is already put in for this and of course you can use coordinate input but if you can snap existing geometry to locate your new geometry then by all means do so. It's a lot faster. I can take my cursor, left click, come down here to the lower right hand corner, left click and I'm finished creating both those circles. Now I don't have to exit the command, I can stay in the command and to create these two circles even though these have different diameters it's simple just come over here change your diameter to what you want one CNC dynamically changes the diameter of the circle and then continue on with your coordinate input or simply just left hand mouse click your geometry. All that looks good so again we can right hand mouse click to finish or we can select any other option. Now let's take a look at trimming. I'm going to demonstrate two different techniques for trimming. So back over to the main toolbar, we're going to select our trim tools and I'm going to demonstrate trim 2 and scissors. Why don't we start with trim 2? Now with trim 2 you're always digitizing two entities and the key here is that you want to digitize what you want to keep. So for this example, let's say we want to trim this line against this arc right here. We want to make sure we trim the portion of the line that we want to keep. So I'm going to digitize right here. I'm going to left click because I want to keep this portion of the line. I'm going to left click right here because I want to keep that quadrant of the arc. That looks good. It doesn't matter which direction you go. Just make sure to digitize what you want to keep. Let's do the same down here. I'm going to left click on the portion of the entity I want to keep and I'm going to left click again on the portion of the entity I want to keep. Again, it doesn't matter which direction you go. Just make sure to digitize what you want to keep. Alright, so that's trim 2. Trim 2, you're always selecting two entities and you're always digitizing what you want to keep. Scissors is a little bit different in that you're digitizing what you want to get rid of. So here in this lower left hand corner, I want to get rid of these two lines in this arc. It doesn't matter which order I go, we can select the line, the arc, that line, and the trim scissors command will get rid of those um, sections of the geometry. Let's do the same here. I'm going to grab the arc, I'm going to left click the line and the line and those two get easily trimmed away. Okay, so scissors, you digitize what you want to get rid of. Now I'm finished with the trim command, so I'm going to right hand mouse click, or I could select a different option. Now let's put the fillets in. Let's bring our blueprint layer back up, and we can see that we have a 0.5 typical four places for these fillets. So we'll turn our blueprint layer off, head back over here to the main toolbar, we'll grab arc, and let's grab our fillet tool, which is right there, and the fillet radius is already set at 0.5. Now I have a tip for you. When you're putting fillets in geometry that includes arcs, you want to make sure you digitize your geometry counterclockwise. It'll help out. Okay. So as I move my cursor here, you can see uh, there's a counterclockwise direction. So for example, if we want to put a fillet in here, counterclockwise selecting the geometry would be something like this. I want to select my arc first and line. This really only comes into play when you're putting fillets 
uh, using arcs. Okay, so here we have an arc and a line. I'm going to digitize this arc first, and then I'm going to come up and grab the line. So down here, we have a line and an arc. I want to digitize these counterclockwise, so I'm going to digitize the line and then the arc. Okay, let's do the same over here. I'm going to digitize the arc first and then the line. So what happens if you digitize clockwise? What if you make a mistake? Well, one CNC will show you what happens here. If, if we come here, and a clockwise uh, selection in this case would be the arc and then the line. So I'll grab the arc and clockwise down to the line, and you can see the preview is instantly shows me that that's not what we want right there. So I'll hit the escape key on the keyboard, and notice my other fillets are still on the screen. I'll just come back in here, leave that at 0.5, and this time I'm going to select counterclockwise and my preview shows me exactly what I want. I'll left click and then right click to finish that. Very, very simple. Okay, now let's take a look at this hole we need to create right here. Let's bring our blueprint layer back up. And it looks like that has a radius of 0.8. So we'll turn that off. Back over here, we'll grab our main uh, circle command here. Our diameter is going to be 1.6. And again, you can use coordinate input, but I think I'm just going to grab the arc center. Just take your cursor, move it up to the arc center, wait till you see that diamond symbol, left hand mouse click. When you're finished, you can right hand mouse click. So there you go, there's our third part. There's a, a lot to learn on that one. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.